Hey everyone, I hope you're having a great Sunday. I am sorry if you hear Dora the Explorer in the background, but I just wanted to take a little time to share some information. And I know I haven't been on here in a while. It's been very busy, so forgive me. But anyway, hope all is well and today, Obviously, you see the title, which is, if you are on an antibiotic, there's something that you need to know. So first, let me start off by what exactly is an antibiotic? And if you've never really looked into it, it actually means anti-life. So I don't know if we would go to the doctors and after all is said and done that they would say, okay, I'm going to prescribe to you an anti-life. I would say, um, no thanks. So unfortunately, that's the best that we can do in the medical community. I'm super thankful. This is not about bashing the medical community. I'm so, so thankful for doctors. I'm so thankful for the medical advances that we have had. And there is a time and place for antibiotics and medical intervention, but I will say that we were never meant to live forever on these antibiotics. It is a fact that in the United States, by the age of 45, most Americans are on four different medications, which is absurd and it's heartbreaking to think about that people don't maybe know that there are other things that they can do to help promote their life and longevity. So if you are on an antibiotic and you've been told that you're going to have to do this for the rest of your life, I would encourage you to read some books and get educated about different alternatives. And the only reason that I strongly promote that is because there is nothing that you can take that is from a doctor or the pharmaceutical companies that will not negatively affect another area of your body. And that's the unfortunate part that we have to deal with. If you've ever read the warning labels, you would be shocked. There is no such thing as side effects. There are only effects. But it sounds better if you would like a side with that. So that's first thing. So antibiotics means anti-life. And the reason I think that they promote it that way is not only are they getting rid of the bad stuff, that they're getting rid of the good stuff too. So it, it breaks down the good parts of our body and our systems uh, as well. So how do we combat that? The first thing is, is that we have to get educated on things that will be helpful that God has provided already in the earth um, for healing. And we have to do that because we want to not only live a long life, but we want to have the most life in the life that we're living. And to do that, we have to be able to seek alternative routes because we are not provided with uh, the best route, which is obviously things that are not going to be harmful to the rest of our body. Anyway, with that being said, we were just on vacation and Lilia got sick, unfortunately. And she had a, a really bad cold. She was having a really bad cough. I immediately thought, you know, maybe she is just, oh, there's some deer. I don't know if you can see them. How sweet. I don't know if I'm doing that right. I hope you can see them. But um, she uh, she was sick and I, I was disheartened and she was running a low grade fever. The woman I used to be would have immediately given her Tylenol for her fever. And the being the fact, I don't even get a therm thermometer out anymore. If I feel that she's warm, I already know that she has a low grade fever, but if I feel that she's scalding hot, obviously I'm not going to not give her some Tylenol because I don't want, obviously her system's needing a little bit of, well actually it's not even her system. I just need a little bit of relief because you want to make sure your kids are, are healthy and strong obviously and you want to put them out of pain. So long story short is that I was not giving her Tylenol because I know and, and maybe 
for some of you, you don't know this, is that a fever is burning up the infection and the virus and your body is actually doing a great thing. So when we put a Band-Aid over that part of our body, we actually slow the process of healing. So that's just for future reference. If your kids get a low grade fever, try not to give them uh, Tylenol or Motrin. In the beginning, maybe um, just try to walk it out with them, drinking a lot of fluids and water. A lot of times our bodies are so amazing, it can flush out viruses with just getting more hydration running through the body to get that all better. So with that all being said, so we went to the doctor and she said, Lilia does not have an ear infection. So I thought, well, that's great, great news. But she noticed that she had some inflammation and that she wanted to put her on prednisone. So I went to the pharmacy and I got the prednisone and immediately I felt in my spirit that I wanted to read now that I know all this research or that I'm continuing to learn my education of the health of our body and whatnot. Um, I read all the side effects and they were absolutely horrific. Uh, it's a steroid. I can't even name them all. Dizziness, weight gain, um, could cause nausea, could cause damage to them, whatever. If you could name it, I mean, there must have been at least 25 different uh, side effects of this medication. So I thought, I'm not going to give this medication to my daughter. I mean, let's, I think she's well enough to let's walk it out. And as you can see, she's doing fantastic. She's, uh, her body is amazing. God is good. It's a way of strengthening our immune system. So I did not give her the prednisone. But if I did uh, give her anything, one of the most important things that this is why I'm doing this is because I know that there are a lot of people who feel at a loss, that they're on medications, they don't know what to do, they don't know what the alternatives are. Like I said, number one is get a book. Start to read, start getting educated, start being proactive in your health and, and know that there are alternative solutions out there. But, you know, proceed with what your doctor is telling you to do. I'm not a doctor myself, but I, I will say that God has created healing that, that exists in the earth. So, number two is that you want to be on a probiotic. And what does probiotic mean? It means pro-life. So probiotics are awesome because they uh, nurture your, your good, bad uh, bacteria. So you have these little bugs and they're, they're awesome. And they get rid of the bad stuff in your system. And that's why we need to all be taking a good probiotic, especially if you're taking medication because you are leaving your body susceptible to so much more than what you're actually taking the medication for. So with that being said, I also want to give a heads up that, uh, give you another story and maybe another mother out there is suffering from this, but my son Levi could not go to the bathroom and still has, um, some issues with it if I don't get this probiotic in him. I, he was on Muralax. You have no idea. I mean, I couldn't sleep at night because he would not go to the bathroom for 12 days. So you can understand that as a parent, I felt really lost. So I kept going to the pediatrician and obviously they kept saying, uh, here's Muralax. But if you read the warning label on Muralax, it says not to take after a certain amount of days or to uh, contact your doctor, but obviously that's who prescribed it in the first place and this is what they're telling me to do for, for, for however long, you know. So I'm like, this just stinks. And, and I had family actually telling me, you need to do this, Ashley. Like, you've got to protect him. You've got to do this. And I understood their concern, but there was something inside of me that said, this is not right. This is not the way it's supposed to be. I, I, there's got to be another way. So long and the short of it is, is that when I got Levi on a probiotic, it changed a live probiotic, a good probiotic. It changed his bowels. If he doesn't take it, yes, he will not go. Uh, he doesn't take it by mouth. I put it in his food and I put it in Lilia's um, juice as well. But 
it has been the most miraculous thing in the entire world. It keeps them regular. So if you are a mother out there struggling and your kids can't go to the bathroom or whatnot, you have to do this. It is the best thing for them and you gotta get them on a good one. So if you want more information on that, you can certainly private message me. Other than that, um, that's really all I have to say to you. I only get to talk to you in the car because it's pretty much all the time I have without Lilia tugging at me. Uh, I hope you have a great day. Hopefully this was helpful and educational and maybe you've gotten some insight or maybe you just got a review of things that you already knew. But if you want more information about the probiotic I'm taking, which is absolutely the best probiotic I believe in the world. It is created by the top enzymologist for gut health in the entire world. It's actually used as medication in, um, in, in Africa. So it, it's, and it's all organic, all natural, all pure, nothing bad, only good. So if you want more information about how you can get started with our probiotic, and yes, there is this, this huge difference, obviously we all know that, with the driven market that we're living in today which is all about uh, thickening their pocketbooks rather than making our health better, uh, inbox me. You're definitely going to want this stuff. It is, it's awesome. It, you're going to feel good about what you're putting into your body. So anyway, have a great day. Take your probiotics and I hope this was helpful. Bye-bye.